Hello, introduction to MS Excel. It is a spreadsheet software. What does a spreadsheet do? It allows us to work on data in a tabular form. Tabular form means when you arrange data in rows and columns and put it in cell. Here comes MS Excel's introductory window. What you will see here is a spreadsheet software. Spreadsheet means what is a spreadsheet? It is arrangement of data in a structured table like form and MS Excel applies spreadsheet. How? Now this is we are going to see this is the beginning right. What we see here is um, here there is something called cell. The cell is these small 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 boxes that you can see these all are called cells. In these cells actual the working takes place and when this arrangement of cells in a horizontal manner is called a row and the arrangement of cells in a vertical manner is called a column. You see the row headings are given with the help of numbers and the column headings are given with the help of alphabets. And do you know there are so many columns possible. Don't you think it is stopping at you? It will go far and far even beyond the monitor. It is going far and you will see in due course of time. And when you will open your own Excel worksheet, you will see there are so many columns and so many rows. Okay. Then we have got this entire what you can see on a page is a grid of cells. This is called a worksheet whose name is given here at the bottom left side and all these worksheets you can have many worksheets and all these worksheets together make a workbook and here you have got this is called a ribbon where uh, small small boxes you will see with uh, auto, uh, instructions written here so these are helping tools and you have got the title bar where the title is and you have got the scroll bar where the scrolling is possible okay components of MS Excel cell as you saw right, right now a small rectangular box where data is stored and activity takes place and the one in which there is a border is called an active cell in active cell you will see a border like something okay and you have got row row means horizontal arrangement of cells and there is column column means vertical arrangement of cells note that rows have got heading which are numbers and columns have got headings which are alphabets and just look at the last column heading. This is theory part which is showing you. And when the practical part will come during action time, you will get to see it. I will show that to you. Okay. And this is the number. If you have to sit down and count how many columns are going, coming, uh, that, that count is a huge number. And row number is even bigger. So <laughs> together, so many cells. Can you find out how many cells are present? Your simple maths will tell you that you have to multiply this number with this number that many cells are present in these current uh, worksheets hmm. and there is something called worksheet as I told you this entire one page that page like thing that you can see is called a worksheet and there can be multiple worksheets and all the worksheets together is called a workbook so what you see in an excel file is actually a workbook if you use all of them otherwise mostly they remain empty only so the next is a small example which is looking very big but actually it's not big it is only looking big it's only a few names only five names are here you see the data here is a collection of numbers as your common sense must be telling you this is probably marks scored in half yearly and annual exams and here it is a total and these all are marks these all are numbers and we have done some alignment alignment thing here also okay so this is just an introduction navigating through the cells how will you navigate navigate means move move around how will you move around in so many cells are there so how will you move you can use the arrow keys the arrow keys means you can use the right arrow to go to the right side left arrow to go to the left side top arrow to go to the up down arrow to go to the down and these are also called cursor control keys you can use a tab if you press the tab then you can go one uh, cell to the right side if you press enter you can go down one cell and if you press control home then you can come to the 
uh, cell which is in the very beginning that is a1 that means if you have gone far away somewhere down in some out of the screen there and you have forgotten what is in the beginning then you will press control home and come to the beginning hmm. and there is something called shift plus arrow keys so if you shift an arrow please press the shift and press the arrow keys then you will be able to move around with and select a range of cells select means you can um, you can make a group of cells active together and control a means all the cells in the worksheet are selected together types of data data types means you have got most the most commonly used are here but there are more data types there are date is there time is there but the most commonly used ones are number a number is a uh, is a is a number it contains digits and it does not contain anything other than plus minus digits and a point is allowed My plus and minus are to indicate positive and negative numbers point is allowed to indicate a decimal number but more than one point is not allowed neither is space allowed so one number can have a specific set of combination of digits and three three symbols and uh, the next data type is called text text can contain many alphabets characters all the keyboard ca printable characters so if you have got text that means it will allow you to write whatever you want and there is something called formula formula means it is not going to show you what you are typing but it will show you some result result of some calculation it begins with equal to and plus is also taken but most official symbol is equal to so if you type something called uh, something like equal to 124 plus 8 on the screen you will not, uh, on the cell you will not get to see this thing the scale uh, you will see the result of whatever is the mathematical calculation there are some more types of data that is called date there is something called time and that you will see when we will show you the examples there i will show you some more variety okay methods of selecting cells two methods you just now little while ago you saw you can pause the video go back and see them the other methods of selecting cells are here you can click on a cell and select one active cell you can click and drag and make a rectangular uh, coverage to select a group of cells you can click on the heading then that will be selected either a column or a row or if you click here then you can select the entire cell of the worksheet together means all of them will get selected okay undo and redo oh my god it used to confuse me so much as a learner you see this figure this figure used to what i used to look like you know in the early days when i was learning why you know because this undo and redo see it's funny you write something these are uh, four names yeah, my friends you can also have your own choice if you write four of them then you think that oh no no i don't think i need the last name so you click on undo or you can do control uh, i think undo is control z then uh, if you undo then the last one will vanish that means it will go back and then if you suddenly realize no 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 i want it back then if you want it back either you can type it or you can press redo if you press redo then it will again come back just imagine it can go also it can come back so you can do undo and redo as many times as you want till you get it clarified and you don't look like this image okay then we come to inserting row and column row and column inserting is needed when if you want this entire uh, whatever is here that whole thing to go down that means if you want to insert something between these two i think here i have got fiza and roshni between them something has to be someone else has to be entered in that case what you do is you click on the heading and then you right click and there you choose insert the rest of them will go down and if it is a column then you click on the column so it was like here so if you click on this d right click on this d and you click on insert what will happen is whatever is in d will go to e and d will become available for you to enter fresh data okay resize row or column resize means change the size in order to change the size you can click on the headings border you cannot click on anywhere else you have to click on the border of the heading okay so where is the border here 
if you click here and drag then the column width will change and if you click here and drag then the row height will change and if you want to make the entire uh, worksheet to have the same uh, size for row or column then you have to select the entire you know to select the entire either you can press ctrl a or you can click on this small triangle hmm. Once you select the entire, then if you change the size of the row or the size of the column, then the entire worksheet will get that same uniform size. Okay. Copy and paste. See, only subject where copy is taught. Otherwise, copying is not supposed to be. Right. If you copy something, uh, you see, I have copied Italy from cell number B8. B8 because column number followed by the row number is a cell's name. So whatever is in B8, I have copied that by using the formula for copy. There is, there is control plus C. And then if I have pasted it in B3, that is why I can see it there. So what is the way of copying? It is either uh, first you go and select the source, what you want to copy. Then you click on edit menu or you can right click and choose the copy option or you can press ctrl c so many options then you go to the place where you want to paste it and then either press uh, click on pay, uh, paste in edit menu or right click and choose the option of paste or press ctrl v note that it is not p huh p is not formula for pasting v is for pasting okay and cut and paste is similar but not same because in cut and paste what you are cutting does not appear two times. When you copy, it appears both the places. You have just made a copy of it. But if you cut it, then the source place, it is no more. The formula, the, the shortcut for it is Control X. Or you can right click and choose cut. Or you can choose cut from edit menu. And similar. Okay. Then this is interesting. I like the autofill feature. Autofill is the introduction to formula. That means automatically something will happen. What will happen automatically? If you write few numbers and if you select them and take the mouse to the corner, right corner, you will see the mouse will change. And if you click that and drag it down, you will see automatically some more numbers of the series will appear. This can be done for generating some other rhythmic thing like months of a year or days of a week or time intervals or even numbers or dates or any other rhythmic thing. You will have to test it and we will see it in the practical time. Okay. See, this autofill feature, this is called autofill handle and you ha I have uh, made this example for you. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I clicked on them and I clicked here and I dragged it and when I dragged it, I saw Sunday, Monday, Tuesday giving way to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and you can even try to drag it even further to the right. Okay. Formula, formula, formula. Images taken from Google free images with thanks to the makers. I don't know who the makers are but I am thankful to whoever has made it for giving me this for educational purpose. Right. What is the formula? Let us see. Formula is something that can do some calculation and give me the result. So, I can take help with formula. But that does not mean you will stop doing your maths. Because you need to know the thing. Because formula is only there to help you. But you should also know how the maths part is working. Formula uh, use arithmetic operators on numbers or on cells containing numbers. There is something called function. Functions are not exactly directly numbers. They actually are some words such as product, such as sum, such as difference. And these functions are also similarly useful in order to do complex work. Okay. Not very important point. A formula or a function must begin with the symbol of equality. Without the symbol of equality, it is not considered as a formula. It should begin with the symbol of equality. And what are the symbols? Plus for plus, minus for minus, but not the same. Star for multiplication, slash for division and carrot. No, no, no. It's not carrot that you eat. It's carrot. And this carrot is used for 
exponent calculation which is called power a to the power 2 you will write a carrot 2 okay and you will also now see application of formula if you write equal to 35 plus 65 you will not get to see uh, 35 plus 65 like this you will get to see 100 but is this 100 what you typed no no so this 100 has come as a result of a formula and the other one is another easy one 12 to the power 2 so this is that caret this will give you the result and this is a complicated one 10 by 2 that by 2 that means 10 by 2 is 5 5 by 2 is 2.5 and here is a bigger one where you have got few numbers and as I can sense that this is not a number this is not a number means it is a number but it is not direct number it is a formula and this formula is such that if you change the value in any of these cells the result will automatically change okay you have to test it out in the action time we are going to test it out then we come to some errors wherever some work is done obviously some errors can always creep in hmm. so now let us look at some of the problems that can come and disrupt us if someone types g plus 5 how can the how can this be understood by excel it will say i don't understand what is g because g cannot be added to 5 and g is not a valid cell number also and g is not a number also therefore it will give an error if someone writes 50 plus into 6, then how can it do plus also into also? So it will say, I'm sorry, I can't understand. And if someone writes 82 into 24 plus, then again there is an error. Because plus what? It will say, I cannot understand. What is, what is the plus after that? And if someone writes star 6, star 2, then it is going to do the work with the text. It will not consider it as a formula. Hmm. And if someone tries to divide by 0, division by 0 is not possible, no one can do. It is infinity. Now, how can computer also do? It will also say, I am sorry, I cannot divide by 0. It's an error. And if any case someone writes 5.6.7, this would have been okay had this been a text. But since someone has written this with a formula beginning, that means it has started with equal to sign, then also it cannot be done. How can one number have two points? Next one is a question mark. How is question mark an operator? Next one is plus and star. What plus, what star, what with what? Again, this is incomplete. This is also not okay. And 4a plus 5b, both of them are again wrong because 4a is not a number, 5b is not a number. And had it been a cell number, it should have been written with alphabet first. It should have been a4 plus b5, where a4 is a cell number, b5 is a cell number. And both of the cells must contain some number in it. Then only it would uh, allow. So, 4a plus 5b is also wrong. Finally, uh, some more. Like you have to understand that what I am writing, does that make sense? If it is not making sense, then it is wrong. So, now we will come to action. Because now I am going to show you some examples of what theory you have learned till now. And when I see the examples, when I show you the examples, you will feel that work is getting done. Okay. But I cannot show that in the same video because that is going to make it very voluminous. So, please wait for the next video. And in the next video, you will be able to sense how you will work in MS Excel. Okay.